Hello everybody, this is Matt Bergman from Learn, Lead, Grow, and a few weeks ago I shared with you how to use the Edmodo Snapshot feature to assess student performance on Common Core Standards in Mathematics and English Language Arts. If you remember, I chose the Snapshot tab here or the Snapshot icon over on the right hand side of my screen to access the Snapshot page. And then I clicked on Create a Brand New Snapshot where I was prompted to choose what grade level, what Common Core standards I want to address, and how long I want the assessment to be. This is a listing of all of the different assessments that have been given. And if you notice, it'll tell you the status, whether it's been completed, the name, the group, or the class that you've assessed, the standards, as you can see, sixth grade, and here are the standards, when it was assigned, and, well, the completion percentage. Today I'd like to take it a step further and share with you the reports tab which will allow you to make informed decisions within your classroom that affect your class as a whole and your students individually. The reports are a game changer and so it's really important that you understand the three main reports that you'll need to use to make informed decisions. The first is the focus tab. Now if you think of this as an airplane plane ride, the focus is your 30,000 feet view of your classroom. It'll allow you to see how students are performing on English language arts assessments. You can filter out by mathematics assessments. You can even filter out by group or what I like to see, refer to as class. So for example, I'm going to use my uh, period one language arts class here. Now to filter out of that, I can go ahead and click on the X and that'll allow me to see all of my classes as a whole. But let's check out period one language arts. As you can see, here's the overview, the total number of students and the total number of standards. If those students are behind or borderline on those standards, you're going to see brown on this donut type of chart. If they meet the standards, it's going to be green. If I put my cursor over top, it'll also tell me that 0 out of 16 students meet at least 90% of the standards covered for grade 6. Over here, this is the standards. If it's gray, it hasn't been covered. If it's blue, it has been covered. So we've covered 5% of the standards for 6th grade. The Opportunities tab is probably my favorite part of this report because it allows you to see the areas of improvement or areas for opportunity that you can use within your classroom. And you'll notice that you have this complicated looking Venn diagram here. It's not very complicated. In fact, it's very easy to understand. It'll tell you the three different standards that you will probably want to address in your classroom and how students are performing on that. Whether students are borderline, behind, they've met it, or it's incomplete. Now the larger the circle, the more students that are behind or borderline, and the smaller means less. Where you see overlap, like right here you see some overlap, that allows you to see that there are multiple students that need help on multiple standards. Now, if we see the 30,000 view of our classroom, why can't we see the ground level uh, before we take off on the runway? And so that will be the student report right here. If we go to the student report, you'll see that there are many different filters that you can use to analyze the data. For example, right here, period one language arts is the class that you're viewing right now. But if I click on the X, you'll see all of the groups. You can filter by whatever particular group that you want to see data for or a particular standard. So for example, if you chose mathematics instead, you could see how they're performing. Now with the actual data, there's three tools, three hidden tools that you want to be aware of to help make informed decisions that meet the needs of your students. The first is the sorting part by proficiency. So for example, let me go ahead and get into the language arts class. And right here is I can sort by proficiency or I can sort by last name. So for example, if I want to sort by proficiency, it'll filter out results based upon how students have performed on these assessments. If I want to filter by last name, I can do that as well. Second hidden tool is right here. And you wouldn't think that it is an actual tool, but it's a hidden tool, which you'll want to be aware of. And that is, yes, everything's color coded, showing whether students meet, they're borderline, they're behind, it's incomplete or hasn't been assigned. And as you can see, there's a lot that haven't been assigned. 
but you can filter out results. So for example, if you only wanted to see students who are behind on these standards, if you click on that particular color-coded button, it'll filter out every student that meets, that's borderline, incomplete, or not assigned, and allow you to see only students who are behind, which is awesome. It'll also allow you, by clicking on it again, to go back and see all of your students' performance on that particular tab. Now, the third and final hidden feature in the student perspective or student report is how do you see how a student actually answered questions? Because that's really important to know. Now, a little background information for you. When you assign questions, Edmodo takes from a database full of questions and assigns them different assigns students different questions that meet the need of that standard. So no two students may have the same exact question. So that makes it kind of difficult to see how the student performed. However, if you click on that particular standard, it'll allow you to see the assessment that the student took. And it'll allow you to see, okay, this student did not get the answer correct. In fact, this is how they answered the question, and this was the correct answer. So you can go through question after question after question to see whether they got it correct or not. It's a perfect way of seeing from a teacher perspective how they're performing, but it also may not be a bad idea to go through that individually with students if they're really struggling. To close out, you just X out right here. So we've talking about the 30 foot perspective, the ground level perspective, and let's say that this is going to be the 10,000 feet view right here, the standards. How are your students performing on all of the standards within your classroom? So as you can see as well, once again, there are filters. So if I click out of this X right here, I can go through and I can filter by class. I can filter by common core standards. And I have these different donut looking charts right here that allow me to see, okay, how exactly are students performing? I could put my cursor on top of that particular chart and I could see the names of students and how they're doing. And I can also see um, these blue dots right here, which are substandards. If I click on that, it'll show me the different substandards that help support that particular standard and how students are performing. But as you can see, there are really no substandards um, in the uh, language arts that we have addressed up to this point. If I go to math and I want to check out the math section right here for all of my different groups, you'll see that I really haven't addressed any of these standards up to this point um, with my different classes. So it's a great tool that you can use to make decisions in your classroom with just a click of a button, and it's so easy to use. So why aren't you using the Edmodo Snapshot feature? If you're an Edmodo user, this is a game changer, and it really doesn't matter what grade level or what grade area, subject area that you teach. We all have the responsibility for helping our students meet their needs and help them learn material. And this is a great way to do it without a whole lot of effort on your part. And the data that you can gather is just absolutely amazing. You can gather uh, areas of improvement that you need for your class and address these particular standards. You can help individual students and the needs, and you can see what standards you're doing well in and what standards might you need to address as a teacher. So good luck, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at uh, mattbergman14 at gmail.com or feel free to leave a comment on my blog at bergman-udl.blogspot.com.